Welcome to the Parenting Power Podcast, supporting parents with the real-life tools they need to raise the confident, interdependent people the world needs. Gail Bell and Julie Friedman-Smith interview experts who share their knowledge to assist parents in creating a home environment where kids can thrive. Hi, I'm Julie Friedman-Smith. And I'm Gail Bell. And we're here with Tools for the Trade. What's the difference between discipline and punishment? Actually, there is a very big difference. And the most important thing that we need to acknowledge and accept as parents is how our children will learn differently from punishment versus discipline. So let's just get back right to a basic definition. Punishment is when a parent reacts in the moment. And it can be something as simple as you're in the grocery store at maybe 5.30 and your child isn't listening and running off or picking things off the shelf and you say, don't touch that, stay with me, blah, 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 blah. And they're not behaving well. They may start crying and you say, that's it. You don't get dessert tonight. In the child's mind and how a child interprets that is what we call punishment. They feel punished because it came out of nowhere. They don't think it's fair. And actually, in this case scenario, and in many with punishment, it doesn't even relate. So their behavior in the grocery store, not having dessert doesn't really, it's not a logical or natural consequence for them. So discipline. Discipline is something every human being needs and learns from. And we're all capable to learn from our poor choices and make better ones next time. So from a parenting point of view, discipline means working with the child. So it's what we're doing with the child to learn from our family values and how to go out into that big wide world and be a interdependent, happy being in the world. So children will make mistakes. That's part of life. But when our child makes a mistake, we don't necessarily react the first time. So let's think of a really simple example. How about when you, you're downstairs folding laundry, you come upstairs and your three or four year old now has markers all over the kitchen wall. And you, instead of going, what were you thinking? That's it. You're never using markers again, which you may feel like saying that might be your innate reaction, but we want to come down and go, wow, I didn't think that you would ever put markers on the wall. And you know what? We didn't set clear expectations about where markers need to be used in our house. So let's get some soap and try to work and clean this together. But we need to now sit down and set some very clear expectations about where we do use markers. So then in a quiet time, you sit down and you talk about where the child, the toddler or the young preschool can use markers. So we use markers on paper or whatever works in your family. And if you choose to use markers anywhere else again, then you're choosing not to have markers for the rest of the day or something that's age appropriate. So you can do this with all ages and stages and different things are going to come up, different behaviors and different poor choices are gonna come up with different ages and stages. So maybe your high schooler goes out to their first party and you think that they know to be home by 11, but you haven't clearly communicated those expectations and they're not home at 11 and you're worried and you're scared and they walk in the door at 10 after 12 instead of, oh my gosh, where were you? We were so scared. You're grounded for a month versus, wow, we did not communicate about this clearly and mom and I have been sitting here for an hour worried sick. Tomorrow or on Sunday, we need to sit down and work out what is a reasonable curfew for our family. You can definitely have some choice in that. We're going to talk because you're 17. And then you set the clear expectations around that. And then next time when they go out, if they're late, the consequence is already established before. So when you're setting the time, you say, and if you choose to be late, then you're not going out the next weekend and we'll try again the following weekend. Discipline is really important for kids to learn from their choices 
and punishment isn't great for kids. It all becomes hurtful and yucky and not fun. Thanks, Gail. That's a lot of clarity for a lot of different age groups, and it really is talking about working with your child instead of just throwing things at your child. Join us for another Tools for the Trade. <laughs>